My name is Bart Pasquale. I'm with the Italian Trade Agency office out of Chicago, which is tied to our head office in Rome, Italy, and work on the project for promoting the Italian makers movement in the United States market. Uh, the Italian Trade Agency worldwide promotes Italian makers abroad, and we've been doing this for a number of years now. We've seen this as an excellent opportunity to promote the design, innovation, and creativity of our Italian makers to a larger global audience. Well, I think one of the things that the Italian maker community is that we've always had a history of tinkering. And um, most of the innovation in some of the products and uh, resins that are used here today are actually Italian-made. Think, for example, cerements, ceramics, tiles, glass, all came from Italy. And we've been able to take those materials and processes that we've done and create some pretty cool things. Well, the Arduino movement has, has for the influence on the Italian makers has been quite considerable. In fact, within this pavilion you'll see today, there's a number of our Italian makers here who have utilized the Arduino technology and has given them the opportunity to enter into different markets and reach high profile clients that they may not have been able to had they not utilized the Arduino technology that's available. And we really appreciate all that Arduino does in terms of providing it as an open source opportunity for our creativity, innovation, and design to take off. Sure, uh, we brought a lot of Italian makers here to the fair. One, uh, for example, here we're in the group for, for, for called uh, Fonderia Digitale. And one of the things that you may be seeing here on the side is uh, the WAS Ceramics, which is the first ever 3D printer of ceramics. And it's excellent for students, artisans, and designers, and it provides excellent finishing processes. It requires very little after work after the thing has been printed. Uh, another one is our Italian uh, technology used in the electric hybrid motorcycle from CRP, which actually has production facilities in the States and produces motorcycles underneath their energetic uh, division. Motorcycle goes over 100 miles and recharges up to 80% within 20 minutes. We also have Biopic, which is another Italian company in the bioagro industry, which uses Arduino, if I may mention as well. And their projects have been considered for long term space missions for growing produce in space. And that's very exciting for us. Another one that we have is the uh, 3D printing of houses, uh, which is another project through the Fonderia Digitale Consortium here. Also uses Arduino. And we also have Futura, which is excellent in Italian food technology in terms of 3D printing. And some of the things they're bringing to market has made them a world leader in terms of providing that for both uh, food technologists and for those that are trying out new products and designs for the food industry as a whole to provide unique niches within the marketplace. Well, I think the way that Maker's Fair and the Maker Movement is reflected in Italy is that it's actually provided um, what we call a reflection of what was already there. Italians have always been known for creativity, innovation, and design for thousands of years. And the opportunity through the maker movement have allowed them to bring their things to market in a much quicker time. A lot of the barriers and restrictions are down with international collaboration, cloud sourcing, things of that nature. Um, and the Italians have always been known for tinkering. In fact, any, within the Italian-American community here, many of the inventions you see on the U.S. market were made by Italians that were just working out of their garage. We bring the Italian garage to the Maker Fair so people can see firsthand how the creativity and innovation is put forth. Well, my advice to young makers is that it's never too early to start making, to start dreaming, and bringing those dreams to fruition. Anything is possible. And if you Google the stories of young makers throughout the world and what they've been able to do from South America to the U.S. to Italy and abroad, there is no limit. Um, and parental guidance is minimal, needed, because dreams are there's no restrictions to dreams.